I have MS, and as my therapist put it, it was like a hand grenade going off in my life. I have MS, and what has been the most difficult thing for me is how unpredictable um, my health is, and therefore how unpredictable my life becomes. I have multiple sclerosis. It's left me in a wheelchair for the last seven years. And not only that, it's changed pretty much everything I do. I have MS and I have two young children and every day I wake up not knowing if I'll be able to take care of them. I have MS. I can't write. I can't drive. I can't speak well. I have MS and I was diagnosed at 20 years old so I've had it for decades. It's impacted every minute of my adult life. I don't want anyone else to have to have their life impacted like mine has been. That's why I founded the Mind Repair Foundation. Millions of people have multiple sclerosis, and I'm one of those people. When I was diagnosed, I was told there'd probably be a cure in 30 to 50 years. I think if someone's diagnosed today, they hear the same thing. That's pretty frustrating. Myelin repair is really the best avenue, we believe, for an effective new treatment. Myelin is the insulating substance that surrounds the nerves of the brain and spinal cord. When a person has MS, the myelin is attacked by their immune system, causing scarring or sclerosis. This damage breaks up the connection between nerve cells so the nerves can no longer properly conduct an electrical signal. Then, the ability to move any part of the body to get sensory feedback or to see or clearly process thoughts is degraded or destroyed. Current treatments only address the immune response and are not effective for the long term. They often have adverse side effects. MS was first described 150 years ago, so why isn't there an effective treatment or a cure yet? It's partly because MS is a complicated disease whose origin isn't understood, but it's also because traditional academic scientific research isn't designed to produce therapies or cures for actual patients. One thing that I think is very unique about the MRF is unlike any other nonprofit that we're aware of, what we did is we, we started with the end in mind, and the end is getting a treatment to patients. And we considered anything short of getting something to patients that would improve their lives would be really a complete failure. So many organizations fund basic science and they may measure themselves by how many papers are produced by that or how many dollars they've given out to scientists. To us, those are totally irrelevant measures. And so we thought about the entire value chain. And that I think is totally unique. There's just not other nonprofits that think holistically like that. Traditionally, scientists at universities conduct research to make basic discoveries. They often work in isolation, guarding their results until they publish their findings, and then they move on to the next research project. Searching for a discovery that could be developed into a treatment or a cure is like looking for a tiny needle in an enormous haystack. And there are many more steps that must be taken to validate the discovery and create a drug treatment, and then test it before it can reach a patient. Since it can cost more than a billion dollars to develop a drug and bring it to market, pharmaceutical companies will not invest in a discovery that has not been proven. This crucial gap between a basic scientific discovery and a treatment is called the Valley of Death. The MRF's mission is to bridge this gap to find an effective treatment or a cure for MS. What we're doing here at the MRF is revolutionary. We believe it's going to change the world. And fortunately, a lot of other people see the same thing. But it is a, a process that, that takes a lot of money. I mean, we have a lot more to do here to, to actually get a treatment to patients. We know we've taken a lot of time out of the process already. We know we've invented a process which is completely different from the norm, but we have a lot more work to do. And doing that work are the best and brightest scientists, like Ben Barris of Stanford University. Since working with the Myelin Repair Foundation team, uh, my lab has participated in a, a number of discoveries. We discovered a gene that had not been identified before, which is critical for basically functioning as an on-off switch 
to turn on myelination in the developing brain. This enables us to dive deeper into the process and ask more about the process and how it's controlled. And that in turn will lead us to understanding how we can turn back on myelination in diseases where the myelin is lost. So the whole reason that I became a researcher was because of my medical training. I spent four years after medical school as an intern and a neurology resident working with patients. And of course, multiple sclerosis is one of the more common neurological diseases. It's difficult to, to work with these patients and see them suffering and not have anything to offer them. And so I am you know, honored to be part of the Myelin Repair Foundation. And I'm very excited to be working with such a team of talented researchers to try to do something to generate new drugs to help patients. So I, I feel, you know, it means a lot to me. The highly skilled MRF team oversees the collaborative work of the principal investigators, whose job it is to uncover potential drug targets. Then they manage target validation, drug discovery, and develop partnerships with pharmaceutical companies that will lead to clinical trials, FDA approval, and treatments for patients. So the Myelin Repair Foundation uses a, a process called the Accelerated Research Collaborative Model, or the ARC model, uh, to guide and manage all, just about all of the interactions amongst the principal investigators in the academic consortium. Now that's different because it enforces an interaction amongst the laboratories. We hear about everything uh, right out of the laboratories. I think in that layer of interaction, the Accelerated Research Collaborative Model really um, is able to drive the process forward much more quickly. You see the strength of the patients and you just, you, you, you're, you have to help. You have to do something and that's why we're all here. We, we have to do something and we, it has to happen faster. What I do here at the MRF is to translate the scientific discoveries that we have at the academic laboratories and we bring them up to a larger scale that the pharmaceutical industry can understand and, and use to their advantage in creating therapeutics. My passion has always been directing my efforts towards unmet medical needs and here at the MRF I can call on both my academic background as well as my pharmaceutical industry background to reach those goals. We're very excited. Earlier this year we established our first partnership with a mid-sized pharmaceutical company where we're going to work in conjunction with them to co-validate myelin repair targets and also explore other avenues in which we can work together to develop a myelin repair therapeutic. I spent uh, 20 years in the pharmaceutical and biotechnology industries uh, making medicines and I had the great good fortune to be part of teams that worked on uh, projects that produced three marketed drugs and uh, some of the most meaningful experiences of my life have been to encounter people who have learned what I do and have ended up thanking me for helping to create medicines that uh, they feel have benefited them. It's uh, wonderful. I recommend it to anyone. If you have a chance to uh, help make a new medicine, don't miss out on that chance. So we've had amazing results. We've had more uh, uh, targets identified than anyone thought possible. We've identified, uh, developed more tools than anyone thought possible. We have more patentable inventions than anyone thought possible. And so our objective is to keep those results coming at a really rapid rate. And we have a goal to have our first clinical trial for a mild repair therapeutic into clinical trials beginning in 2014. And we're on track to do that. The myelin discoveries that the MRF is making will also help advance understanding of other neurological diseases. They have received the support and the donations of many prominent individuals and foundations because of their revolutionary model and their amazing results. I support the Myelin Repair Foundation for, for two reasons. Personally, I have a connection to MS. My husband has MS. But even beyond that, the vision of Myelin Repair Foundation and the, and the method that they're proving out to get drugs to people faster is a really big vision that's important for lots of unmet medical needs and it's really exciting to be a part of it. MS is just one of a class of diseases that have evaded solution and my goal, my hope, my dream is that, by, that we cure all of those, starting first by curing MS and then applying that proven approach to cure the whole lot of them. 
There are so many great and worthy noble causes that I could choose to help. But boy, back one that could change the world forever the way this can and change life, the, the most important parts of life, which is life itself and life free of disease. Oh boy, that, that puts everything else into quick perspective for me. Um, that's the change for generations to, I mean, that, that would be the achievement of generations of, of humankind. And that's what I've chosen to back. Myelin Repair Foundation and Myelin Repair uh, gives me hope that I will be able to dance at my daughter's wedding and play with my grandkids and be able to walk in the future. The work of the MRF gives me hope that I will get the feeling back in my arms and hands and that I will be able to live each day with uh, a lot more energy. And so MRF is really going to speed the research process and provide hope, hopefully in my lifetime, so that I can you know, get, the, get cured enough to get up out of the wheelchair and walk my daughter down the aisle if she decides to get married. Join us in helping the Myelin Repair Foundation find the cure to MS. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Please join us. Join us. Join us. We have tremendous momentum. We don't want to lose it. Join us to help find a cure for MS. Thank you.